Hey guys, it's Mame. Um, RSD Prepper was asking about how I braid across the top of my head. So I'm making this video mostly to answer her question. Um, but hey, if you've got hair long enough to do it, go for it. Or if you've got littles that you have hair long enough to braid like that, go for it. But that's what this one's about. So if you're, if that's not your gig, check out. It's fine. Um, I'm going to get my husband to do the camera work because it's impossible for me to do the camera, do my hair, and be able to see the camera to make sure I'm in frame. So I'll pause this, and when he gets in here, we will start and get it done. So be right back. Okay, to start this show, what you need is, oops, hello, I've got the camera turned around backwards. What you need is a comb, preferably one with wide teeth on one end, something to clip the back of your hair with, and one of those little bitty tiny plastic rubber bands. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to hand the phone to my, cam my, my trusty cameraman, and we'll get this started. Now, first thing that you do, comb your hair all over one side of your head. Doesn't matter whether you start left or right. Then, taking the wide tooth part of the comb, I start from behind my ear. You could start in front if you wanted. Hello. You part from ear to ear. And that should be relatively straight, is it? I start my braid about an inch up from my ear. This is all personal preference as far as that goes. It's sort of a trial and error sort of thing. I have very curly, very coarse hair. So you may have to make adjustments or modifications for different kind of hair. And I just keep moving up my hairline about an inch. Let me turn so you can see what I've done. These are two parts of the braid. This is the third part. I added it to that third part. Do another weave of the braid. I can usually do this with my eyes closed and because there's a camera on me. It's being difficult. Once again, I added it to when I'm looking in the mirror, it's the piece to the farthest left as I'm braiding. It. Like I said, when nobody's watching, I can do this blindfolded. Now, have I got it all this time? Okay, the first weave of my braid.
and from this point it gets easier oh, I didn't get that straight because all of the sections of the braid are going to be relatively the same size I did it again. turn so you can see better. Because of the texture hair that I have, I try to keep the braid pretty tight. Coming down this side of my head, I have to make sure that I'm keeping it tight because I'm about to run out of hair. And if I don't have it tight all the way through, then the braid will, the looseness will work up across the top of my head and the braid will kind of get messy. Okay. There we go, adding the last piece. I don't think I made that transition neatly. And basically, I just continue the braid until the different la layers become an issue. And then I take my little rubber band daily. And tie it off. Now, because I do it wet, it stays pretty smooth and neat. And if I braid it wet, 
I can leave it in for a week and it will stay. You got it all? Yeah. Okay. Then I release the back and do whatever it is I'm going to do with it. So, thank you, dear. That's how I do it. <coughs> I can go back and comb this mess to make it all look, you know, relatively neat and even. Um, yeah, I didn't get that as tight as I wanted, but that's okay. Um, you can pull it back into a ponytail. You can bring the tail of your hair around and braid it over your shoulder, but it's kept this out of your face. And a spritz of hairspray will help keep the fuzzies and the baby hairs and all that stuff down. But yeah, I hope that helped. Um, now if you can just get Tommy to do it, you're in good shape. So <laughs> y'all have a good day. Be safe, be happy, be gorgeous like I really am right now. Um, yeah, be creative, be productive, be here next time. I love you.